Hello, welcome back to another episode of Farming Sim with me, Cosmic Knight. This is the Titanium Edition, and we're at episode 21. Okay, I want to do something slightly different this episode because we've done <coughs> loads of field work the last few episodes, you know, lots of combining and, and bits and pieces. So, uh, just between the last episode and, and this one, um, all I've really done, I've seeded a new field with barley. Uh, that's just finished. I've just set up the um, cedar. Uh, he's just started on that field and obviously got the field up the top there to do. Um, I fast forwarded time so it's in the morning again so harvest should be during the daytime for the foreseeable future. And you can see the glass actually in the daylight here. Look how green it is. It's, uh, it's a lot better. But I just want to go down to the dairy. I just want to show you that uh, just between episodes I um, just filled up the uh, silage clamp. It only took another four loads, I want to say five loads. It, it didn't take very long at all. Um, so I've topped up the cows with grass. Um, uh, they're not doing too bad for straw. Uh, they've got a little bit of straw put quite a bit of grass now which is good and yeah this is uh, at 4% fermenting so it's going to be a little while before this is ready uh, but what I want to start doing is putting some of this silage in the um, in the trough over there uh, just just to bring up the productivity a little bit uh, get a bit more money from these cows I want to buy some more cows and um, I want to buy some sheep and that's what I'm going to do this episode because now we've got that front loader I really want it to start paying for itself so oh we've got a bit of a tank slap there and it got oh, a rough old bit of road yeah so I want to get the uh, front loader uh, earning its keep and the only way we can do that really is obviously with the harvest but you know I think you're a bit bored of that now so I'm going to go and buy some sheep and uh, we've got quite a bit of money. Um, I can't remember what we had off a lot or before we started selling the canola because that was on high demand. I think we was getting about a thousand dollars per ton. So we was doing all right out of that. Let's just gonna park this up over here. Yeah, so we made uh, a stack of money from that canola. Um, so we've got. I want to keep about 100,000 in the bank if I can. Um, the reason is it's a nice easy figure just so I can work out what these refills are going to bring in um, with the barley. So if we go to the shop, I want to get this bale trailer. Um, even though it says bale trailer, what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, put the, the pallets of hay on, uh, sorry, hay, beg your pardon, pallets of wool on them. Uh, also, I want to buy some sheep. So I've noticed this is on sale as well, uh, for less than 40,000. I'm quite tempted to buy it, but I can't really justify it at the moment. Okay, animals. So let's buy some sheep. Keep an eye on our money. I'm probably going to go see how much money we've got left. 50. Okay, let's go for uh, 100 sheep. Straight off the bat, that should bring us in a nice bit of wool. And also, I want to buy some more cows. This is obviously quite a bit more expensive. Let's go 40. Goodness. That's fine, yeah. That's a bit more than I wanted to spend actually because uh, the cedar's going to uh, take a bit of money, but that'd be okay. So we're just going to go up and buy this, uh, sorry, pick up this trailer. And I'll show you uh, what I'm going to do the trailer. So what I'll do basically every time there's a pallet of, uh, of wool, I'll put it on the trailer. So once I've got a full trailer, I'll take that and sell them in one go. It'll just stay, uh, just save a little bit of time running backwards and forwards with a pallet every time it's full. Okay, 
Okay, and uh, one thing we need to do as well is uh, make sure the ship we've got plenty of grass. Okay, here we go. Just got to try remember. Let's die down here, so just drive the end of this road. Oh, it's up there on the left. Yeah, so this is going to be my new runabout tractor, really. Um, doing all the other odd jobs and bits and pieces. I already used quite a lot of fuel. I haven't not used it. Oh, so pleased with that fuel, though. Um, yeah. Let's see how much this fuel is. One thing I've noticed, none of these fuels are very flat, are they? Uh, so it's going to make using the round baler a bit of a nightmare. Okay, so... Right. I've already bought the, uh, the mower up here, as you can see. Um, where do I want to put this? Let's try, and, let's try and reverse this and just stick it down here a little bit. And there's a bit of a neck to these. Wait, I want to try and turn that a little bit. Sit. Oh, too much. Okay, that'll probably do there actually. Uh, the idea is when we've got a pallet of hay. So I keep calling it hay. Pallet of uh, wool. Uh, pick it out from here. Just turn around and, and stick it on this trailer. So that'll probably be alright about there. So it's kind of yeah, that's pro pro probably about right. That'll do. So let's just uh, have a look at our investment. It's Dolly. I've named that one Dolly, and this one can be Molly. Um, I've run out of names for sheeps now, but uh, that's quite cool. Didn't realise they had a water trough. Oh, there's a lamb. Just had a lamb, where was it? Right, so how much grass have we got? I did put a little bit in earlier. Uh, so. Yeah, just over 1,800 there. Okay, that's not going to last very long. Uh, especially now we've got 100. And this is quite full. This is just left over from... Uh, topping up the silage. Okay, let's get that on there. Let's see how much of this we can put in the trough. Let's just keep it open for a second. I just want to see. So I can't remember how much sheep eat, and we should be able to get a week's worth in here. So it'd be interesting to see uh, if we've got a hundred sheep. Oh, try and get it in the trough. Certainly nice and full. Okay, let's um, fill it up. Such a cool mod. I do like these uh, these mods. N I modding uh, do a really good job. Shouldn't take too long to fill up. Nice little trailer. Chat for the tree stumps. I mean, I could go and get the mower and run it up and down here, but I'm probably only going to put a trailer or two in there. And oh, just, I don't think it's really necessary at this stage. 
it's quite good fun just driving it backwards and forwards. Keep an eye on the cedar. Once that's um, once that's done, we'll uh, move that to the other fields. It shouldn't take too long. Almost at the stage now, especially when we get another field, that we're probably going to need a bigger cedar, or at least another one. Done. Cool. Well, we've already got uh, some wool. 100%. Uh, the pallets are 1%, but at least they're producing. Chaff. What? That was glass. Oh really? Um, what have I got this output in that? Oh, I must have changed it to uh, output to chaff. Oh, that's a nuisance. I don't know if I can tip this. Where's the map? Uh, that's this map I want. Yeah, I don't know if I can. Um well, I'm gonna have to go and drop this off at the uh, bio plant. Come on. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, we'll have to uh, just empty this off at the biogas plant. Put it among the big silos there. Oh, look at that. As if by magic. Let's get the old fertiliser on that as well, actually. Uh, I've got a spare tractor. Let's uh, worry about that in a minute. Oh, I can't believe I output the... Uh, that's nonsense. So oh, that's that field's going to be half grown, and the other half still going to be uh, growing. It's a nuisance when it does that. It must tick over every hour. It must be a in-game hour or, or something that triggers a growth cycle. Well, that's not too bad. By the time I do that big one, this should be growing anyway. That looks like grass, doesn't it? I'm going. Yeah, so I'm not going to do too much of course play this episode because next episode um, I want to continue with my little project that I'm being quite vague about uh, for good reason because when you see what I'm up to you're going to be like Cosmic what are you doing don't waste your money but I think it's going to be good it's going to work out alright and it hopefully it should bring us a bit of money as well and when you're playing on hard Obviously, the more money you get, the better. Okay. Who is it? So, let me start filling this one up. It's going to take a long while for this little trailer for everyone to fill it up. <laughs> don't know what these hold, but I think it's quite a lot. Okay, I might just uh, get a little bit of diesel while I'm here. Spend a bit more money. Okay, that'll do. 
Right, so what we can do... Hopefully... Yeah, that's got glass in it now, so as long as I don't push dead, we'll be alright. Best laid plans and everything, I thought, you know. That wouldn't take five minutes just to fill that up with glass. <laughs> but as on every farm, there's always something that goes wrong. I'm just going to leave this here for a second. Right, you're done. So now we want field 15. Um, oops. Eight and a half. Just thinking. North, east, and south, I think, isn't it? So that's north, north, east, and south. Yep, that looks good. So I'll reset, yep, generate course, fill 15, see the refill, just want to start on the first waypoint, uh, I did have, yep, a uh, headland, and on your way, okay, let's carry on, where we left off, Upside down. Yeah, these things are only really uh, rather designed for little tractors. You, you can't even see uh, see it next to these big ones. That's all right. But I'm pleased they did change the colour of the grass because it, you know, it makes sense, doesn't it? Uh, you're cutting green grass, or, or reasonably green grass, and then you, your bales and everything green. But before, they were brown and dry and horrible, and yet you're producing lovely green bales. So I'm pleased they fixed that. Yeah, really pleased. Okay, and hopefully. We have a trailer full of grass, excellent. Okay, right, let's head back down to the sheep pen. So this is the sort of thing I'm doing off camera, is all <laughs> all good ideas, end up making a mistake and end up driving halfway across the map just to put it right. So uh, but I thought, you know, let you let you guys see what I'm up to. start saving up for a new combine soon. Actually I'm just going to uh, do a little detour, I just want to see how much this field is going to cost. Uh, the middle must be over here somewhere, yeah, there it is. What do you reckon? I reckon... 280. 280, well, how big is it? Oh, I don't know, well, maybe 300,000. 300,000. Where's it gone? There it is. Oh, 345. Blimey, that's uh, quite a lot of money, isn't it? Okay, well, that'll have to go on my wish list. Ah, uh, looks good from up here, doesn't it? Our farm. Let's just bring up the stats again, just so we can keep an eye um, how much uh, grass we can put in here. So 
So the good thing about having animals, especially sheep, uh, as long as you keep the pallet over here, you know, once it's once it's up to 100 percent, you know, you just shift it off. Even if you uh, just just nudge it out the way, when you're waiting for your crops to grow, you know, you're still making a bit of money. So, okay, so. Right, so that's how much we need in there for six days worth. Oh, well, that's not too bad, is it? That's not too bad at all. Okay, well, I'm going to leave this over here. I'm just going to park it up. Yeah, let's just leave that there for now. Oh, no, hold on. Leave the whole lot. Okay, so we're doing okay. The hundred sheep uh, got plenty of food. We've now uh, got loads of cows. So let's just have a look. Next one. Uh, they've got plenty of grass. Well, actually, what I might do. Um, because that grass is full up with 10 cows, but now we've just got an extra 30. We can probably put this grass on over there, so I might just do that quickly. Uh, I need to see about getting a baler and a uh, a food mixer, uh, but that can come in time. But I'm just going to pause the episode here. Uh, you don't need to see me drive down to the cow sheds, so I'll be right back. Okay, we're nearly back. I just thought uh, while we were on our way back, we might as well top this up with um, grass. So, <coughs> making the most of this. I just realised as well that I mean, I had time acceleration as well, so a bit fed up about that. I get so easily distracted. Okay, get some of them big clumps of it. Yeah, it's a nuisance, this doesn't work with straw, but all it does is just turns it into chaff. But uh, it's okay, we've still got the butcher, we'll get a bit of straw from this barley. Make sure the cows are okay for straw. Because eventually we use the manure. Um, Fertilise what fields we can. Okay, let's just uh, keep an eye on the feeding trough. Okay. It's been quite a long time doing this, especially filling up the old silage clamp over there. But uh, it doesn't take too long. It's so patchy though. too far up here. I learned the hard way, it's quite a long way back. Yeah, get all the thick stuff. Nice. Oh, this bit here that I must have mowed before. Some of that. Okay, let's start heading back now. That'll be full by the time we get there. Here we 
We've got a nice, uh, nice herd of cows there. It's uh, looking good. It's uh, that's quite a lot of food there. One thing I did want to do this episode uh, was set up a little cosplay route so I can use this front loader to automatically uh, fill up the trough with um, silage. But I might wait till next episode. Oh no, I should be able to, uh, oh. I should still be able to set it up. Just won't be able to actually use it because I haven't got a front bucket yet. So it's pretty straightforward really, these uh, f uh, front loader um, cosplay boots. It's basically, I think, uh, I think we probably want to start about here somewhere. So start course recording. I just want to drive probably to about there. Set waypoint. And then you want to so that's where you're gonna Yep, here we go. I just want to put one at the end. So that's just basically marking out. Um, oh crap. Oh, I've done it wrong. Let's start again. Let's start again. That doesn't help having this cover on. That doesn't drive up and down it very well. Okay, let's. let's uh, I forgot to put a reverse in. So start from here. So about there. Just try and get up. I feel I can just there we go, there we go, there we go. We go to about there and then change direction to reverse. So, when I come straight back, it's about there. Uh, we shouldn't need another waypoint there. Because the white point indicates a, a, an action. So. I think something there. Set white point. Change the direction. Come straight back. Try not to steer. Um, and go backwards, it, it tends to get a little bit confused, and then we just want to stop right here. Okay, so I'm just going to uh, save this as test for now, so I'm not sure how it's going to work. So we want to put this on front loader. Uh, loading position is going to be down here. I know I've got uh, tines on the front, that's not going to work. Uh, but, you know, the silage isn't ready anyway. So it'd be something like that transport position something like that free unload position nice and high and level about there unloading position probably something like that uh, stop and go loading what that means is when the bucket starts filling up it will stop until it needs to move forward to fill up a bit more. So 
Now it's quite good to have that activated. So, uh, she got to put the shovel on her. Okay, I'm just going to go and buy the shovel, uh, and once I get it back, I'll be back. Okay. Okay. Uh, got the uh, silage uh, forks here. I uh, want to grab, and also got the bucket as well. Um, just see which one works best. Uh, this holds slightly more than the bucket, but. You know, I'm not sure how cause play I get on with the grab, but it should be okay. Uh, but until that's fermented, uh, we can't really do too much, can't really test it because uh, it won't actually grab anything. So we're keeping on it, that's actually at 11%. Uh, I think we've done quite enough for one episode. Uh, next episode, uh, off camera, I'll probably do the harvest off camera, uh, as we've seen quite a lot of harvests. Uh, and then I'm going to start on my project, uh, which I'm not going to tell you about till next episode. So, please come back and see what I'm up to. Um, thank you all very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Take care.